Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and today we got not one, but two. Two cute Christmas gifts that you can give away. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. Let's go. All right, y'all, we're here at the craft desk. What you're gonna need is some shrink wrap or cellophane wrap, a whisk, and some candy. It can be kisses, it can be whatever you want them to be. Um, that you could also use if you had them on hand and you didn't have the other stuff. You can use uh, Ziploc bags or sandwich bags for this project. You just need to cut the tops of them off. Now, I'm taking and putting these little Hershey's Kisses. Now, you can choose any candy of your choice, any hard candy, as long as it has its own little wrapper on it. And what I'm doing is I'm putting them all in the glass and then I'm going to take my little whisk and I'm going to start pushing them down in here. Now I saw somebody do this and they, I'm going to tell you what, they made it look easy. My whisk would not hold the candy and as soon as I got one in, that one popped out on the other side. And if it wasn't doing that, it was pulling the wrapper off. So I painstakingly put in one at a time you guys if you need this gift to go fast this is not the way I suggest you do it so let me stop this and go to the part where they where I show you the easier way the way I found works best for me if this works for you do it but if it doesn't um, there is another way to get the candy in there so let me show you Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I can't show you that method just yet because I didn't go from that to that method. So what I did is I put my candies in this way and I'll show you that other method in just a second. Um, this is one that I've already filled up and I left the tag on it so that it looks new. And what I did is I took, I'm showing you, I left the tags on them so that people will know they're new, not used. And then what I did is I took a piece of plastic and it is approximately five inches by uh, 14 inches long. I'm showing you how many inches it is there. And it's 14 inches long. I'm going to show you 14 now. <laughs> I did two sevens. That's, that's so if I forgot that I wrote it down, I could tell y'all. Okay, you want to take and lay the center of your whisk in the center of that 14 inch piece and then you're going to wrap it around and then you're going to bring up the back side as well and then once you do that, then you're going to take a zip tie. While you're holding it, you're going to take a zip tie and you're going to put it around. Now, if you don't have a zip tie, you can use tape. You can also use string. You can use any method that you want to secure the top of this. Now, this one, I put a zip tie on it just to show you that's what you could do if that's easier for you. But you certainly don't have to go to the expense of having that zip tie for the top. Now, what I'm going to do after I fluff that cellophane out around the sides, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a simple little bow on here and these scissors didn't want to cut it, so I had to get my good ones out. I have a pair of good ones that I only use for material. I don't use them for other stuff unless it's cutting on material type fabric because, yeah, those are my great scissors. Good scissors. And there you go. There's one of them done. Now, I'm going to show you one more. And the reason why I'm going to show you one more is because there's another way of wrapping this. Or, no, here we go. I'm showing you the method for filling it. I just spread apart those little uh, things on the whisk. And this made it so much easier. Um, with this particular type of candy, that the wrappers were coming off. If you just try to shove it in the glass. But if you could try it with your other candies if you want to. Um, if they're secure wrapped or sealed on the ends that may work better but this is what I found worked the best for me just spread that open and stuff your candy in there 
Okay, you guys, here's the second method of doing this. I'm not going to talk through it. I'm going to just let you watch. Okay, the next project is this tea light jar that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I cut out those little um, pieces of vinyl off of my Cricut Joy. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling off the little pieces of the pieces. I'm pulling off the transfer tape. <laughs> taking off the sticker off the bottom of the jar and for time's sake I already had all the other stickers on there. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take and get some of this Rust-Oleum Linen White Chalk Paint. You guys this really looks really good on this because it makes it look like snow where if you were using regular paint it doesn't look it doesn't give that snow effect. Okay, after I get my lid off, I'm going to take and slide my can to the back because I'm not going to need that. For this project, you just need that little bit that's on that lid. And I'm going to use that stamp, uh, stencil, stencil brush, sponge, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not going to paint that top ring of the jar because when I screw my lid back on, I don't want that to come, become a problem. So I'm going to just take that stencil sponge that came from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just take and dab all over it. And when you dab it like this, it gives it that snowy effect. And you'll watch, I'll take and rub it on the jar up closer to where the top goes on. And when I do that, I go back over it and make it look snowy. But I don't dab up there because I want to make sure that I don't get paint where that lid goes. Okay, you guys, when you finish with this little sponge, you want to take the sponge end off and they just peel right off. If you're not going to use this again, just peel that sponge end off and throw that part away. And I'm showing you, see how easy it comes off? And save that little stick because you can use that in other crafts. And so I just save all the ends of my paint sponges and... I saw a couple of places that need to be touched up and went back and did that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my weeding pen and that weeding pen I got off of Amazon. I don't know where I got it from so I can't really post the link but um, it works really good for this project because these are tiny pieces that you're pulling off of this project. And I always lay a piece of paper down so that I can stick the vinyl to it as I pull it off. But you guys, I don't let this video play out because it's just going to, I'm just going to be taking off all of these little pieces. And when you take them off before I just let the video play, I want y'all to know that you want to use something small. And like I didn't use the tweezers there because I didn't want to scratch the paint on this um, but then I go back in and pull it off but you'll just continue to pull off all these little pieces and you guys this project turned out so so cute really did okay you guys I know I didn't say it but just in case somebody needed to know I did wait for this to dry before I peeled off my vinyl decals that I made.
And you guys, I took and put this cute little uh, jute rope bow on there. And this turned out so cute. And then the next thing that I did is I just sat it on top of a pedestal. And isn't that just adorable, you guys? Adorable. You guys we're back from the craft desk and look at these cute little christmas gifts we just made you guys for two dollars you can make this one right here and if you want to just make this part this is one dollar plus the cost of the chalk paint if you already have it it's only a dollar and that little sting also came from the dollar tree and these little whisks they make cute little gifts if you have to give something at like an office party or something like that that's just small and you want to give something that works great those also work great to go on gifts that you're wrapping up as decorations they also go great in stockings and don't forget those are even good for little girls if they have the little play kitchens because those silicone whisks are not going to hurt them you guys that'll do it for this episode of the crafty art shack we hope you've liked and subscribed and that you'll join us for our next episode and y'all have a very merry christmas and we'll see you later bye <laughs>